focus to other breaking news that we're tracking here on Mirror Now. Now, CBI files a charge sheet against Jagdish Titler in the Sikh riots case. Congress's Jagdish Titler named in fresh CBI. In fact, the charge sheet in the Sikh riots case, the probe agency had last month collected voice samples of the Congress leader in connection with the violence in the national capital, Kulbangash area, 1984, where three people were killed. Earlier, the CBI had filed a closure case against Jagdish Titler. My colleague Bhavtosh joins me live in the broadcast for more inputs on this development that's coming in. Bhavtosh, good afternoon. Um, talk to us about this charge sheet that's been filed under what sections as well. And also an interesting development because earlier the CBI had filed a closure case against Titler. So what does this mean legally speaking? Well, Nevada, uh, as far as this uh, charge sheet is concerned, the charge sheet has been filed today, and uh, the charge sheet has been filed under various sections of IPC, including that of murder. What uh, sources within CBI are telling uh, Mirror now is that uh, uh, after carrying out an investigation over a period of a uh, decade, uh, they have found evidence to charge uh, Mr. Titler with uh, sections uh, that of uh, murder, uh, uh, and they have said that. Eichler was the one who instigated and provoked uh, the mob, which killed uh, three Sikhs. Now, the case dates back to 1st November 1984, when uh, there was a carnage and pogrom on streets of uh, Delhi, in which thousands of Sikhs were killed. And uh, they have said that uh, uh, that uh, various cases were handed over by Nanavati Commission. Now, Nanavati Commission was set up in 2000. Nanavati Commission set up its report in 2005. Now, uh, 214 FIs were filed uh, in uh, in Delhi, and uh, four of those FIs were handed over to uh, handed by Nanavati Commission to centers to uh, so that these FIs can be probed by the Central Bureau of Investigation. But uh, CBI uh, had uh, said that the FI that was filed uh, against the titler should be closed for the lack of evidence. But the Kalkaduma Court, uh, which is a special court, had uh, said that the case should not be closed against. Uh, uh, Jagdish Titler in between in 2018, Manjit Singh GK, uh, who uh, received a CD purportedly, uh, the CD contained a, 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 a sting operation between uh, a businessman and Jagdish Titler, in which Jagdish Titler is admitting that uh, he was in fact part of a mob which uh, in fact carried out a, a, a riot uh, and in fact uh, a violence which led to deaths of uh, several individuals in full Bangash area, which falls in, uh, in North Delhi. Now, in April, uh, uh, Titler was called and asked to record his voice sample at the Epistle Lab. And in less than a month's time, CBI has filed a charge sheet. Now, what is uh, important as far as this case is concerned, that in 2014, the other accused in this case, Suresh Kumar, was uh, acquitted for lack of evidence by a court in Delhi. So one has to wait and see what kind of evidence CBI has gathered over a period of eight to nine years. And uh, many are saying that it's uh, too little, too late, because the charge sheet against Titler has been filed after 38 years or nearly uh, four decades. Right, Bhavatosh. Thank you very much for joining us on the broadcast and getting us all those details and also legally speaking, breaking that down into context for our viewers. But for the moment, we leave it at that. And we're also slipping into a short break here on Mirror Now. But lots more to continue on this Saturday. So stay with us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.